What if I gave you guys $1,500 to build your very own desk setup from the desk to the PC or even laptop, monitor, keyboard, headphones, speakers, the whole shebang. $1,500 to build whatever you want for your dream setup or maybe you wanna upgrade your current setup. Well, I'm gonna be giving away two $1,500 setup packages for my 100 episode of Setup Wars, the worst setup edition coming up. So if you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like. And also guys, I'm still accepting uh, potato setups or crappy setups for my 100th episode. So if you guys still haven't submitted them, make sure to send them to setupwars at gmail.com. You can use wetransfer.com or Google Drive and send in 10 pictures of your setup in different angles, of course, and make sure you list all of the items on your setup to that email just so I know what I'm looking at. But uh, the deadline is April 15th. That is the last day you can send your submissions in. But anyways, with all that mumbo jumbo out of the way, welcome to Setup Wars episode 98. Let the Setup Wars begin. Starting the show off, we got Henrik and a beautiful symmetrical setup. Just look at those monitors. They're practically bezel-less. These are the 24-inch Dell Ultra Sharp displays, and it looks like he mounted them against a desk mount and did an excellent job on hiding those cables. Sandwiching the monitors are a pair of Prisma 55 speakers, and on the countertop we got a CM Storm Rapid Eye keyboard and the MX Master mouse, but he does have a Q-pad mouse as well for gaming, I'm assuming. I don't know why, but that straight keyboard wire is just satisfying to look at. Maybe I'm just weird. Off to the left side of the desk, he's got a set of headphones. Uh, we got the M50Xs and the other two I have no idea since he didn't list them. The PC that's powering his setup is on the ground and it's equipped with a 6600K, 16 gigs of RAM and an MSI R9 290X. And while we're down here, cable management seems to be under control. Everything is neatly wrapped up together with some zip ties and tucked away under the desk. A satisfying and symmetrical setup. Thank you, Henrik, for entering. Next up is Kevin and... I'm gonna be right back. Alright, so Kevin is rocking a 29 inch ultra wide from LG. We got the Corsair RGB keyboard and a Nexus wired silent mouse. What on earth is a silent mouse exactly? I'm not liking how you drilled a separate hole for the mouse because not only do you have two holes in the mouse pad, but it just doesn't look good this way. It would have been better if you hid the wire underneath the keyboard like everyone else and use the same hole as the keyboard. Cable management is pretty good. Now that's something I haven't seen before on the show. Instead of mounting the power strip underneath the desk, you somehow use zip ties to hook them up against the wall and then you use curtains to cover them. That's pretty creative. Regardless, it's off the ground, so I can't really complain. Also down here, we got the M50X headphones hanging from the Elevation Labs anchor. And finally, the PC that's powering the setup has an FX 8350 and an EVGA GTX 970. A very clean setup indeed. Thank you, Kevin, for entering. At number three, we got Standard and his sick triple monitor black and red setup featuring three Quad HD 144Hz 27-inch monitors from Dell hooked up to a monitor arm. The desk he is using is the IKEA Mickey, and he also has not one, but two Alex drawers to hold up his massive-ass Corsair 780T tower. Pushing these pixels are three, I repeat, three GTX 980 Ti's and SLI, and then we got a 5820K processor. Looks like it's water-cooled as well. On the desk, we got the Corsair K95 RGB keyboard, ROG Spatha wireless gaming mouse, and that mouse pad though. It's a custom-made Dead Space 3 mouse pad from Inked Gaming. That's pretty sick. For audio, he's using the Bose Companion 5 speakers and the Corsair Void wireless headset hanging under his desk. I don't know what those red spire looking things are, but I'm gonna assume it's from Dead Space 3 or something because I think I saw something similar to that when I was playing the game. But I like it though, it goes well with your setup's theme. Also points on keeping it symmetrical. Excellent work with cable management, not a single wire on the ground, everything is neatly tucked away and we even have a USB hub attached on the bottom of the desk and away from sight. I love the setup, what can I say? Great work Stanlerd and thank you for entering. Two is next up with a multi setup, one for productivity and one for gaming it seems. The productivity side is being powered by a 13 inch MacBook Pro and that's hooked up to a 27 inch HP monitor. We got some Bose speakers and wireless keyboard and mouse, nothing crazy. 
On the gaming side, we have two 29 inch ultra wide monitors from LG, a mechanical Eagle keyboard, and a Pictech wireless gaming mouse. There aren't any speakers for the setup, but he is using the Beats Studio headphones that are resting on the Aventry steel headphone stand, which has some space below to store cables. That's pretty cool. And he also has a PS4 in the corner over there. Cable management is great, and this is actually a pretty cool setup hack. Looks like he used some cable clips and cable drops to hang his earphones and lightning adapter under his desk. That's pretty creative. And finally, the PC that's powering the setup has a 6600K and an EVGA GTX 970. I like the setup, I think it's made with purpose, but it's lacking a few things, like a color scheme or theme for that matter, and I feel like it's missing some personality as well. There's a lot of empty space above your monitors, maybe hanging a mural or a simple poster of your favorite anime or movie, or perhaps even a wall shelf with some figurines or props or something like that would add some more personality to this setup. But I don't really have any other complaints other than that, great work and thank you for entering too. And finally, we got Z with a very clean and minimalistic setup. What on earth did you do with those monitor wires though? It's looking very clean. He's rocking the 34 inch ultra wide from Dell that's hooked up to the wall, along with the creative Emu speakers, leaving the desk with lots of extra space. Speaking of the desk, it's a custom made one with a steel frame and reclaimed wood top, which apparently came from the barn where his mom grew up. That's pretty cool. Keeping it really clean on the desk, he's got the wireless Rapu keyboard and MX Master mouse, which is resting on the IKEA Rissla desk pad. Z definitely has some audio game. He's got the creative Aravana Live headphones and the awesome Sound Blaster X7 to deliver that crisp audio. The audio game isn't the only thing that's strong. Take a look at his cable management. Damn. Such precision and attention to detail. Absolutely stunning. However, there's something missing from this setup. Did you guys already notice it? What is powering this setup? Where the hell is his PC? It's freaking built inside his desk, and unlike the other PC desk mods, his can actually be pulled out like a drawer, and it's hidden away nicely. It's rocking a 6700K and a Gigabyte R9380X, a very beautiful and nicely modded setup if I say so myself. Thank you Z for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you can leave your comments down below and vote on your best setup. Or if you guys vote within the app, you have a chance of winning a $25 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.